Let's bring on board Yogesh Ratke, who joins in to talk a little bit more about levels as well as what to expect from the expiry. Yogesh, good to have you on board. We're set to see, um, you know, the best series of FY20 and snap all of the losing series that we've witnessed uh, so far. Um, do you believe that this kind of a move that we've witnessed last Friday is likely to continue to follow through uh, into the coming series as well? Right, morning. Uh, yeah, surely the announcements on the Friday has uh, pulled up the sentiments in the market. Market was really struggling from the sentimental part, and uh, after these all announcements, the positive uh, uh, the movement has come into the market. Uh, on Friday, the gap, uh, the market, uh, the way it rallied up, obviously saw follow up buying on Monday also. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, on Monday we saw some amount of sanity check being done by the market to see some stocks again correcting back and uh, the ones which are not going to get benefited immediately or they themselves going to a structural problem have corrected back to those uh, the uh, a bit some uh, some after the uh, rally which was seen on friday I believe that uh, markets uh, surely are headed upwards with the entire uh, the uh, positive uh, the moves which the government has taken and going forward also many of the positive uh, steps the government will continue to take. Uh, but in this entire rally, there would be some sectors, some stocks which will be uh, have to go to their own uh, problems which will be there and uh, they will see some uh, consolidation. Uh, but overall on a nifty front, we believe that uh, market is headed upwards maybe towards the 12,000 level uh, in the next series also. Okay. okay. And Yogesh, do you think uh, banks would be the biggest contributor to this move or do you think the leadership would come in from some other sector? Uh, surely, see that the, uh, uh, the ma market will be uh, driven by the private sector bank. Obviously, the weightage in the index is quite high from their side. But along with banks, there are stocks like even the Reliance, which is showing strength on the uh, front, which will contribute to the up move. Uh, there are a couple of other sectors also which will attribute to the up move. But on the larger base, uh, we do like uh, banks like ICICI, Access, uh, on the private uh, sector banks, uh, which will uh, see the upward trajectory in this. Uh, uh, Entire rally. What about um, you know the auto sector? Given the way that it's performed so far, uh, are there any names that you'd be watching out for? And we're also expecting the auto sector as a whole on track for its best series in the last 20 months. Is the recovery that we're seeing, right. uh, you know, looking justified and looking sustainable? More importantly. Right. As I said in the beginning, there are a couple of sectors which have rallied up on the announcement of this corporate tax. So it was like a uh, complete binary movement which happened in the market. Auto sector is some of, uh, amount of the same uh, uh, which fall into the same sector. Uh, I believe that uh, stocks like uh, Maruti which have significantly rallied from 5,500 level to the 7,000 7, level may see some amount of consolidation because we'll have to see how the numbers play out, how the, uh, the uh, auto sales actually uh, come in and then the, the uh, stocks will get re-rated only on the back of that. Uh, so, uh, some, on the auto sector, we uh, believe that there is some more time for the actual numbers to come out or at least the festive season uh, numbers to reflect positive, then we may see a follow-up buying. Elsewise, some cool-off could be expected in these uh, auto names. Uh, on the other side, I would just like to mention that in this entire rally which happened on Friday and the follow-up uh, uh, gap up opening on Monday, there are a couple of stocks which have created these gaps from Friday closing and the Monday opening. Opening. Uh, historically, we have seen that whenever these gaps are left in the market, they, they tend to come to uh, cover themselves or uh, complete the gap before the, final, the upward rally starts. Uh, names like HDFC Bank has a gap, uh, LNT has a gap, which could come to fill up itself before the fresh uh, up move could be started. We have clearly seen this thing in uh, Reliance that there was a gap of opening which happened after the announcement of the Saudi Aramco's deal, uh, but eventually the gap continued and uh, did come to fill up into the, uh, uh, into the uh, system and then the Nifty started moving upwards. Uh, also, something like and on the uh, FII's uh, positioning, which has been there, we have been uh, seeing that FIs were heavily short in the index future to the tune of around 11,000 odd crores. And uh, over the last couple of days, we have seen that 
longs have come into F, uh, long index futures have been created by FPS and some amount of short covering also seen into the uh, the uh, f uh, the index futures. So around 2,000 crores of shorts have been covered in the index futures and simultaneously around uh, 5,000 odd crores of longs have got built up into the index future. So net net there is some amount of uh, Positivity surely build up from the FPI side also now. Uh, the cash numbers are yet to reflect the same, but the first and immediate impact happens in the derivative markets where people, the FPIs have covered their shorts and gone long also. And we may see eventually that uh, the uh, flows in the cash market also will reflect the same. Uh, we have seen historically that whenever the DII flows and FII flow both are positive, the uh, momentum in the market is like uh, cr uh, crazy in nature. We have seen it in 2007, how the FPI and DII flows both together coming in, uh, pulled up the market. We have continuous flows from the SIP in the mutual funds and if FPI has also turned positive, it's a uh, double tain will for the market which could take the markets to the higher levels. Yogesh, that you're making of this very intriguing move on autos per se. Uh, post the corporate tax cut announcement, the entire sector rallied pretty hard. And then since yesterday, you're seeing that big slash down coming in as Maruti chose to, you know, undertake some price cuts, as did some of the other automakers as well. What is it that you're making of a trend in autos which was very hard hit in the slowdown? No, uh, actually, as I uh, just explained that uh, in, after the Friday's announcement, uh, all the stocks binary moved. Maybe in auto sector, banking, anywhere, whenever whichever sector you picked up, everything was rallying up on that day. A sanity check uh, happened over the weekend where they realized that, okay, there are a couple of stocks which may not benefit it immediately, but, uh, and they have rallied up significantly more than what the uh, benefit should come in. Overall, the system is positive for sure, but something like an auto sector has to show the numbers before we really build up that the next move in the auto sector will come. And that's where the uh, some amount of sanity check, what we talk about, the market is auto correcting itself uh, in the sectors where the benefits are not there or the stocks where there is some amount of uh, structural uh, issue which could, could get resolved in the upcoming uh, quarters, but the numbers need to be reflected by them. Yogesh, um, any outlook in terms of the broader end of the market? Do you think that uh, you know this kind of a performance is likely to follow through? Do you have any names, rather, you know, any sort of top recommendations that you would like to flag off? Anything that's looking uh, interesting on the charts as well within, uh, say, the metal space as well as consumption? Right. So uh, I would, I would uh, like to recommend a couple of uh, good names. As I said, the private sector bank would be the leader in the entire uh, system. ICSI access is something really beautiful on the charts even, and I've been uh, could uh, have seen a good follow-up buying also, uh, followed by some uh, uh, good names uh, from the uh, like the uh, reliance of the world. Uh, that is something which has been uh, moving quite well. Uh, on the uh, FMCG names, I would like to uh, also highlight here that today Nifty uh, rebalancing is happening where Nestle is coming into the index. Uh, here, normally we have seen or say uh, the, uh, the stocks do uh, rally up, catch up to the, uh, uh, the adjustment day and once the adjustment is done, some amount of cool off is seen in the, those ones. So I would say that uh, Nestle with today's uh, inclusion uh, post that some amount of cool off could be seen in the momentum of the counter. Uh, but on an opposite side, we do like something stocks like HUVR or Dabur uh, on the long side bias. A quick word on OMCs. A lot of uh, uh, brokerages finding favor. They're upping their target prices. Do you like anything within the oil marketing space? So surely, uh, with the news flows of the uh, privatization uh, of these all, uh, say the stake sale which is happening in BPCL has kept the momentum long. We do like these all stocks, but also on the side by side, we like to keep a uh, like interim caution on the PSU names where a uh, couple of uh, names are uh, under the Bharat 22 uh, ETF, which is uh, has been announced to be launched on third and fourth. So some amount of uh, supply could come in uh, in these names. So one needs to be a, a bit cautious on these names but uh, eventually the market as I said that we have a positive outlook on the nifty and overall Indian markets that would head these stocks higher.
Thanks for joining us then this morning um, and talking us through some of the uh, current uh, uh, perspectives. Sure, there. my pleasure.